Hi, I'm Maria and this is the Agile State of Mind. Welcome! Today we're gonna talk about how to organize discussion during a meeting. And not just any meeting, but a remote one. Because in the remote times we need to get especially organized for that. I will explain a popular facilitation technique called Lean Coffee and how to use it in the age of the remote work. Before we go there, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on this little bell icon to get notifications. And now, let's start! Recently, two colleagues approached me with the issues about the presentation part of the sprint planning, so-called demo. For context, both work completely remotely during the pandemic and, by coincidence, both identified a similar problem, a problem of abundance. The teams had so much to show during the demo that they could hardly fit it into the time box and their presentations were getting into too much of technical detail. One colleague directly said that it was boring because instead of telling a story of what the software does and which customer problems does it solve, the developers were giving a step-by-step -step update of their coding process. All in all, it seemed that the user story got lost in development. Short disclaimer here. Let's not forget that the Scrum Guide talks about multiple elements of the sprint review. Demo is just one part of it. The development team demonstrates the work it has done and answers questions about the increment. And depending on the team, it can be either a very long or very short part of the sprint review. And now let's see how we can give it a bit of structure thanks to the Lean Coffee technique. Lean Coffee is a popular facilitation technique. It is a simple and informal way to conduct a meeting and it requires barely any preparation. Its authors called it Lean Coffee because they used it to facilitate meetings about lean techniques. Now it got widespread and we can use it for basically any meeting where a discussion about different topics is gonna take place. As I said, it doesn't require much preparation and not even an agenda, which will emerge organically at the beginning of the meeting. It came to my mind when talking to my colleagues as a way to organize a bit those demos of theirs. The aim of Lean Coffee is to structure the meeting and give priority to those topics that interest most of the participants. What you need are some pens, sticky notes, and a timer for which a smartphone can do, and a wall, physical or virtual, depending how you conduct your meeting. Then you draw a simple Kanban board on the wall with three columns, to discuss, discussing, and discussed. Then you gather the topics that are up for discussion from all the participants. They write them on the post-its and put them in the to discuss column. If you want to use it for a retro, you can add a fourth column that would be actions and then you draw actions at the end of discussion. After you gathered all the topics here, you ask the participants to present them with one, two sentences. Then everyone gets to vote on the ones that interest them most. We use a simple dot voting technique. So basically we draw a dot. We give everybody two, three votes and then we prioritize the topics according to the number of votes they got. And this is how a prioritized agenda for the meeting emerges. Then you decide how much time you want to spend discussing each topic. Say seven minutes. You set the timer to seven minutes and you let the author of the first topic present it. After the seven minutes have passed, the participants decide whether they want to talk about topic, voting thumbs up, or they want to move to the next one, voting thumbs down. This way you organize the conversation about the topics and empower the participants to make decisions. What's more, 
The presenters need to be concise and engaging so they increase the chance of getting a thumbs up. So how can we apply this to our remote demo that we discussed at the beginning? If you run into a problem of abundance of topics in any meeting, you can use this facilitation technique. If you are working remotely, you will need a virtual wall. Check them out as they can be of lot of help to facilitate any remote meeting and especially the retrospectives. Let's use Miro here. We open the app and choose a simple Kanban template. We name the columns to discuss, discussing and discuss. For the demo, we can add the fourth one called feedback. In the end, that's what the demo is Ask for. Ask the participants to write what they want to present on the cards. The more concise, the better. Ask them to write their name on the tag so they don't confuse which entry is whose. Once everyone knows what's on the menu, you can start voting on the most interesting and relevant demos. Now order the lists according to the priority. Start the timer and let the first person start the presentation. After the timer goes off, ask the participants if they want to continue or move on to the next topic. Depending on the tool you use, whether it's Zoom or Teams or anything else, they both have reactions available. Open the list of participants in Teams and ask all of them to raise their hand, there is a reaction for that, if they want to continue. Lean Coffee is a great way to organize any meeting in a democratic and participative way. The participants create the agenda and define how much time they want to spend on each topic. Of course, some of the topics might never get mentioned and that should be clear from the beginning. This structure motivates the ones that present to be concise and engaging in their presentation. For that, you could also explain the value of telling stories, especially the stories about what the product increment does, so they attract more interest of the audience. For a better understanding of the concept, you can watch my video, Story About User Stories. And that's all for today. I hope the Lean Coffee technique will help you facilitate any meeting, not only the demo, both online and offline. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.